So in the last episode, I gave you guys the choice for who should be the next St. Johnston captain. Logan Reed, Barry Hamilton, John Sutar, Kieran Tierney, Callum Patterson, Duncan Smith, Oliver Burke, or the ginger nut Rob Hamilton. I thought any of those choices would have been great. They would be really, really awesome players to wear the armband for many years to come. But in the end, I didn't really need a poll, did I? I could have just said, who do you want? Because I'm pretty sure every single comment would have been for this guy. Old man Barry dominated the poll in in the last episode of over 1,000 of the votes. Thank you very much to everyone that did get involved in the poll. I appreciate it very, very much. And you guys have chosen wholeheartedly Old Man Barry to be the captain for St. Johnston for many years to come. So what is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Club and Country. This is episode number 39 and today we're playing our first games in season 3 with St Johnston. A brand new year beginning today as we take on Middlesbrough and Bournemouth away in the Premier League and hopefully if we get time South End away in the EFL Cup as well. And again to start the episode I do want to say a big thank you for those that voted in the poll in the last episode to choose the new St Johnston captain. Old man Parry just ran away with it in the end. It's the first time he's ran away of anything really but uh, Barry has won the poll and thank you to everyone for voting for that I really do appreciate it Barry Captain of St Johnson hopefully he'll lead the line at the back and lead the team out for many years to come so let's dive straight into the first game of the episode with Barry taking the arm out for the first time we are away at Middlesbrough for the first game of the new Premier League season this year the ball wants to finish in mid table and we want to get a win we want to get off to a winning start like last season against Swansea and collect the three points away from home on the opening day so come on to Johnston, come on old man Barry wearing that captain's armband and let's get the win today. And also don't forget old man Barry becoming captain is not the only new thing in today's episode. Three players are making their debuts in this game. Malcolm Mitchell our first ever five star skiller Ewan McDonald the striker version up top alongside Tony Watt our latest signing also making his debut that's a text for me that's a surprise. So three new players making debuts today how will they get on? And also what I really liked as well as Rhodes' shot is easy for him to save is that in that team huddle pre-game, old man Barry, the new captain of St. Johnston, wasn't giving a team talk. It was his brother, the ginger nut, Rob Hamilton. So he was snubbed in the armband from you guys. Now he's playing with fire in his belly, a point to prove after the captaincy snub. I like it. How did Barry go and keep that ball in play, man? Seriously, that was crazy as the start back kills to Ramirez and a chance here for the borough. But there's old man Barry snuffing it out on his debut. You've got to make an impression. I say it's Davies, Davies captain. Got to make an impression now, leading the team. That was good defensive work. Here's a Doma running old man Barry. Has to be careful. Oh, old man Barry taking on the responsibility and taking the ball. Come on, late chance for us to win the game here. Shane Gray to take the corner. Whoops it into the middle. Looks for his man. Headed away. It'll come to Ewan McDonald on his debut. Good save by the goalkeeper. Late chance here for Borough and Sue to Fisher into Adoma. He finds his man Fabio. Fabio shot blocked by Barry, who's been outstanding all game long. What a crucial, crucial deflection. Now Tony Watt sent down the left. If we win it from Barry's block, that would be amazing. Watt still on the ball. Keeps on going. What a run by Tony Watt still. He's going to need some help surely at some point. Keeps on doing it all himself though. Finds Callum Patterson. Patterson back towards Tony Watt who goes for goal. Brilliant save once again. Barry's been great all game long. Shane Gray with a corner whips into the middle. Looks for Easton getting up, heads it in. And Patterson, no, Davidson actually. Murray Davidson heads it in to win the game for St Johnston in stoppage time. And how fitting is that? He's just lost his armband, but he's not lost his importance to the club. Murray Davidson comes off the bench to win us the game in stoppage time. We've been awful, but the the guy that's just taken the armband has been sensational and the guy that's lost it has won us the game. Murray Davidson. Oh, we love you, son. And that's it as well. The game finishes directly from kickoffs and Johnston get the win. None of our debut trio, the attack-minded trio up top for us, could get anywhere close to the goal for most of the game. But in the end, it's Murray Davidson coming off the bench to deliver all three points. The old captain still knows how to get it done. Well done. It was a poor game, but later on it did open up a little bit. And Murray Davidson, of all players, winning us the game at the death. Oh, Murray, I love you so much. And we're going to move straight into the second game of today's episode now as well. I do want to get three games into today's episode, so no need for a long introduction. Let's just get straight to it and let's get another three points. Come on, St. Johnston. Let's make it two from two to start the episode off. 
I really am liking this St. Johnston team. You know, I really, really do. Because even the experienced players have been so important to us during this series. I mean, when you think about it, Liam Craig last year was so important for us to stay in the Premier League. Such a great player last year. And Macker, of course, such a cult hero for this team. And Murray Davidson as well. Like, the experienced players as well as the younger players. This is one of the few career modes I've had where the experienced players are just as important as the youngsters coming through. That's why I like this one so much. It's a lot more different compared to my normal careers. It's been a lot of fun. Mark Wilson for Bournemouth finding Gradell through towards Adam Smith and he'll pass out from the back still. Oh, what a poor touch. What a poor touch. And Tony Watt is in and fires us into an early lead already. And Tony Watt has his first St. Johnston goal just 14 minutes in. That's the worst cameraman celebration you'll ever see. But what a gift. A terrible first touch. And Tony Watt on it like a flash. Rifles the ball into the back of the net. I wanted Lee Griffiths, not Lay Griffiths. Thanks to those that corrected me. I wanted Lee Griffiths, but I did settle on Watt. And in the end, I don't think I'll rue that too much. He's already up and running. 1-0 St. Johnston. Can we make it back-to-back -back wins to start the season off? Let's hope so. Well done, Tony. It's Jordan Ive for Bournemouth finding his man. But there's Barry with a tackle. He had a great game in the last one. And he started this one off well too. The captain's armband is a huge honour for Barry. And he values it. I do believe Europe is still one step too far for us this season. But as Cafu goes for goal and remakes the save, I do want to finish in the top half of the table and keep on making progress with St. Johnston. So back-to-back -back wins to start the season off will give me a lot of motivation. Come on. Smith to Grinnell. Still a chance for Bournemouth. Crossing the centre. Sutar does enough initially. But he'll come back in from Grinnell once more. And again, Barry is there. He's just amazing. And again, why not? He can't beat Barry in the air, son. He's too good. Two games, two clean sheets, two same score lines, and two wins. St. Johnston back to back to start the season off. And new captain Barry, a rock once again. Tony Watt off the mark as well. What a great start to the season. And who keeps texting? me. Not the best of performances once again, but once again, I don't care. 1-0 the final score, 6 points from 6. What a start. What is going on? I think it's the uh, congratulatory text for making Barry captain, you know. <laughs> I should be thanking you guys and texting you instead. You guys made the right call. All right, so third and final game of the episode then. Can we make it three wins from three to start the season off? Well, this is in the EFL Cup. We're away at South End, and I will be fielding a weakened side for this game too. So Barry, despite how much he loves the armband, he'll have to leave it for the time being in this one as he won't travel with the squad. Can we get the win though? Let's find out. Come on, St. Johnston. Let's make it three wins from three to start the new season off. It's McDonald to the captain, Murray, and Murray on the ball, plays it through towards Alistair Stewart. Stewart holds it up and finds McLean and Macca back on the pitch. Glad to see you, Stevie Boy, for the final time this season. Now the artist on the ball, Rob Ross, feeds it inside towards Stevie Boy, and it almost took him six minutes to score once again. Oh, no, 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 no. An injury to Murray Davidson. Come on, 17 minutes in. For goodness sake, this guy had two injuries last season. And it's taken him just two appearances to get another one. I mean, really, as much as I love Murray, EA clearly don't. This is so unfair. Ranger tackled by BFG, the big friendly giant, Gordon the giant, Morrison that is, through towards Macca, through towards McDonald, through towards the chin strap, Aiden Taylor inside, good save by Smith, and he also catches the rebound. And Morrison wins the header again. I'm really going to like this guy at six foot six. Win a lot of aerial battles for us. Stewart on the ball. Feeds it inside towards Macca. Might carry two and despite the deflection. And Macca fires it just over the bar. Here's Niall Ranger for South End inside the area. Good chance. Drills in across the middle. And that is a criminal finish. Because South End take the lead. And with seven minutes to go, they're going to steal the win for us. Do you get the reference, Niall Ranger? Yeah, you get it. 1 0 South End. Ranger storming down the left, drilling in the cross. And we just couldn't get it clear in the centre. It's a good finish, in fairness, off the post from Jack Bridge. And unfortunately, it's 1 0 to the host. We're going out. And I don't really care too much but unfortunately we can't see the game into extra time what a shame and there it is final score at Roots Hall South End 1 St Johnston 0 we are out of the EFL cover the first time of asking just like last year and that's totally fine with me. I really don't care about this competition and in a way like I said last year I'm kind of glad to be out of it as well
I know that sounds like loser mentality, but again, it is me talking here. But honestly, I, I really don't care about this competition at all. We've got bigger fish to fry this year in the Premier League. We'll worry about the FA Cup when it comes around as well. We don't need another distraction this season. So the FL Cup is gone and we say good riddance. We didn't need you anyway. Goodbye. And uh, that's that. But despite the first defeat of the season, we are going to end on a positive note because Murray's injury is not that bad. It's just a full week one. We can cope with that. And also in the table after our first two games, we have two wins, two goals, zero conceded, six points, and also sit in third place. What a fantastic start to the season. Can the year finish now? I'd absolutely love a Champions League place come the end of the season. Not sure we'll finish there come the end of 38 games, but what a start for St. Johnston. Two wins from two, and hopefully come the start of the next episode, we've got City, we can make it free wins from free as well. Considering their defensive problems this year, I'm sure we'll at least score some goals. But anyway, thank you for watching today's episode of Club and Country, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, then please do leave a like. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic evening and I'll see you for the next episode of Club and Country featuring Transfer Deadline Day very soon.